Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Today we're going to be talking about application accepted. The title for today's devotion is coming from Ephesians 1 and 4. Morning version is the T. L as in Larry, B as in boy version. Evening version of Ephesians 1 and 4 is the N as in Nancy, C as in Charlie, V as in victory version. Let's get started. Ephesians 1 and 4 reads, Long ago, when be, even before he made the world, God chose us to be his very own through what Christ would do for us. He decided then to make us holy in his eyes without a single fault. We stand before him covered with his love. Long ago, even before he made the world, God chose us to be his very own through what Christ would do for us. He decided then to make us holy in his eyes without a single fault. When we who stand before him covered with his love. Oh, Lord, I don't know why that's so difficult for me to read. We who stand before him covered with his love. God chose us to be his very own through what Christ would do for us. Okay. He decided then to make us holy in his eyes without a single fault. We who stand before him covered with his love. All right. I think I get it now. The text says applications are essential for gleaning the promising applicants from the in inadequate. Fill out this form and find out if you are approved for a home loan. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, Lord. For college admittance, for a credit card. We put our best qualities on paper, tweaking our, tweak our weaknesses and Hope for approval, but rejection is always a possibility. With God, however, our acceptance has already been promised. We must only appeal to his son, Jesus, who steps in on our behalf and petitions for our approval. There is no credit flaw, no failing grade, and no past default that his death on the cross doesn't redeem completely. Wow. Our prayer for this morning is thank you, Jesus, for redeeming all humanity so that we can live on this in this new life and hope that our sins are forgiven and we can walk closely with you. Help me to walk in holiness today, which is impossible without you, but possible with you. With God, however, our acceptance is possible. Come on now. Our acceptance has already been promised. We must appeal to his son, Jesus, who steps in on our behalf and petitions for our approval. Mm. The evening version of Ephesians 1 and 4 reads, In Christ, he chose us before the world was made so that we would be his holy people without blame before him. The text says, because we are covered with God's loving forgiveness, there is no flaw in us. 
we are accepted by him as part of his family and redeemed by his grace for his eternal kingdom. Can you believe your acceptance? Stand on the promise that there is nothing in your history nor past or present sin that can separate you from his love. Hmm. Cast everything upon him and have faith. You are wholly accepted and abundantly loved. Doesn't it doesn't mention it doesn't mention those who are not loved. It doesn't mention it. It doesn't say that you over here are loved and you over here are not. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say it. In Christ, he chose us before the world was made. This is the NCV version of Ephesians 1 and 4. In Christ, he chose us before the world was made. Before this thing was even set spinning. Set to spin. So that we would be his holy people. People without blame before him. Wow. Wow. Once again, the text says, because we are covered with God's loving forgiveness. Mm. Mm -mm. that's powerful oh my my because we are covered with God's loving forgiveness there is no flaw in us we are accepted by him as part of his family and redeemed by his grace for his eternal kingdom. Can you believe your acceptance? Stand on the promise that if there is nothing in your history, no past or present sin that can separate you from his love. Cast everything upon him and have faith You are wholly accepted and abundantly loved. The prayer for the evening is, Lord, your love amazes me every single day. I know that I am redeemed and no longer live in darkness. Yet sometimes the drag of this life stops me from reflecting on this amazing acceptance. Thank you for taking me as I am and making me into your likeness. The question for ourselves today is, what areas of your life have you seen completely transformed by Jesus? Listen. He loves us unashamedly, okay? He loves us wholly and abundantly, right? There is nothing that we can do to keep him from loving us. He loves us no matter what. It don't mean we don't fall short. It don't mean that we don't choose not to love him. Right? It don't mean that we're not going to go out there and do something heinous and something horrible. Something against his will, against his commandments, against love which is the greatest of 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 his of his commandments for us to love above all 
right? Don't mean that. What this means is that we have unconditional love from him. Right? That he chose before this world was even formed, before he set it spinning. Before he made it. That we would be his holy people. People without blame before him. Right? But we can let go of him, right? We can allow ourselves to be separated from him. If we don't remember this, if we don't remember Ephesians 4, if we don't remember that before the world was even formed, he loved us. He called us holy, right? The devil doesn't have to separate you from the Lord. Evil doesn't have to separate you from the Lord. He can do enough to get you to separate yourself. It is my prayer today that you will always remember that you are loved, that you have a father, that you can go to the father through the son. In Jesus name. In prayer in petition. Right. That you are forgiven. Ask and you shall receive that you are forgiven. It is my prayer for you to know that you are worthy. God considers you to be holy. He considers you to be some of his very, very best work. Most excellent work. And don't you let nothing separate you from the love of the Father. That's my prayer for you today in Jesus name. Okay. Amen. Amen. (laughs) Oh, I know y'all may remember that from church. Amen. 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 All right. Ask yourselves today. Come on now. Ask yourselves today. What? areas of your life have you seen completely transformed by Jesus and begin to celebrate that okay do your holy dance do your holy shout weep wail cry for joy celebrate how loved you are by Christ okay and get up and get out and walk in your power okay All right, that's all I got for y'all today, honeybees. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. I will uh, be in here uh, later today for a video. But tomorrow morning's devotional I'm going to record tonight because I have several appointments very, very early in the morning and then awake later on that day. And um, my prayer and my thoughts are going to be with that family. And so... I'm going to pre-record your your devotional tonight, but it's going to be just as powerful. <laughs> it's going to be just as impactful, right, in the name of Jesus, as, as if I was sitting right here reading it tomorrow morning. I want you to know that I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay? Love you with the love of the Lord. All right? Y'all have a wonderful day. Mwah. Ah, holla.